Hi there, my name is Josh. Welcome to Keyboard Talks, and this is the brand new Nord Grand. And it's a very exciting day as a Nord fan and someone who uses a Nord Stage 2 on a regular basis. It's really exciting to get a totally new product. It's not an iteration or an update of another model. It's a completely new model. It's like getting a new member of the family. It's, it's very exciting. But when you go to the Nord website, you click on Nord Grand and you click on Compare. The instrument it compares to is the Nord Piano 4 and the thing you notice is there's not a lot of differences between it and the Nord Piano. In fact, I can only really find four key important differences, that is. They are the action, they're the weight, they're the internal memory and the price. Yes, the price, that's the big one. You know, if Apple were naming this product, they could very well call it the Nord Piano 4 Pro Max because it's kind of just a souped up Nord Piano 4. Or maybe that's a bit unfair. Maybe Nord really have revolutionized and transformed the super stage piano space. But there's only one way to find out and that's to try it. So let's have a look. So the first thing I notice about this one is it's quite big. It's very deep, it's very tall, no wider, but you've got this uh, yeah, very deep section here. It's tall, the distance between the keys and the bass is quite deep. And that's because it's housing this much larger action from Kawhi. So that's made a big difference. And there's a few things that's changed. Firstly, you've got this gorgeous timber panel on the top. It looks wonderful. Every Nord's gonna have its own unique panel because every grain's gonna be different and it's, it's beautiful. And then the next thing that's changed is the control panel, which is normally flat, is now at a 45 degree angle and it kind of faces up at you, which is kind of nice. Um, I do like it. It does mean the control panel's been squished, so all the uh, controls have been stretched out, which is a little different, but it's not difficult to get used to and all the normal things you'd find on a Nord piano are here. Your piano, your synth, your main program screen, effects very much like a Nord piano. One thing that's definitely not on a Nord piano is the word kawaii, which is just hidden there. And that's obviously the main thing about this instrument. It may have bigger memory, but it's all about that action. And I've kind of been curious as to why Nord chose to work with Kawhi with this specific action. You see, Nord have been trying to improve their key feel for a while. Back in the Nord Piano 3, they tried incorporating a timber key. Um, but it never eventuated. What they ended up doing was putting a slightly better version of the hammer action into the Nord Piano. And they did the same with the Piano 4. So when they announced a partnership with Kawhi, I was incredibly excited because Kawhi makes some of the best actions on the market, in particular their timber key grand feel action, which as far as I'm concerned is one of the best feeling actions on the market. But when this shipped and when I started to look more closely, it wasn't the timber key that they were using. In fact, it was the plastic key which is the RH3. Now that is a step down in Kawhi's model range. And though it's good, it's never jumped out at me as a particularly awesome action. Is that action really that good? Is the RH3 really worth so much more money in, in this model? I mean, Nord are asking $1,500 more than a Nord piano just for the action. That's a big jump, especially considering when the Nord stage is $500 less than this. And the Nord Stage has a lot more in the way of functions. It's got more sounds, it's got an organ module, which this doesn't have. It has the full synth module, with this, which this doesn't have. You can layer six sounds, which this doesn't have. There's a lot that's missing. Well, there's only one way to find out if it's really that good, and that's to play it. That action is incredible. That is a massive step up from what Nord users have been used to with the HA and the HP and the SW actions. That is a massive step up with the Kawhi Hammer action. It feels incredible. And I think part of the reason for that is there's a real hammer in there triggering the sensor. You can actually feel the hammer moving in there. When you come to this, it just feels so much better. And the sound that I'm using there is their kind of their factory preset, the white grand. and 
it's almost like it's been tuned and tailored for this action. It just feels, it just sounds so rich and you get to the nuance. One of the great things with a Kawhi action is you can really tap in to those soft tones. It's something that makes Kawhi digital pianos really good is that you can play really softly and get a sweet soft tone and it's almost like this is doing the same. I'm completely blown away by how good that feels. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting that to feel like a lemon, to be honest. <laughs> But that's amazing. What can I say about the Nord Grand? Well, I've got to say, it's totally blown me away. You know, when I was prepping for this, I was thinking of all the things I could say about how silly it was and how much of a missed opportunity it was. I was going to criticize the price. I was going to criticize the action being underpowered. I was going to say it had too few features. I was going to tell you to go and buy a Kawhi MP11 with a better action. And then I was going to tell you to buy a Nord Electro with more sounds. And then I was going to say, buy a MIDI cord and connect the MP11 into the Nord Electro and then you get the action and the sounds and then you would still save money. But after spending some time with the Nord Grand, it's truly remarkable. They were they made a brilliant decision partnering with Kawhi on this and even though it's not Kawhi's top spec action, you're so aware of the improvement in the action. You can feel the hammer moving. When I tried my Nord Stage after playing this, it felt like a toy. It just does not have the same feel and responsiveness as this thing. So it truly is remarkable. The one thing that does hold it back for me though is price. It is just that little bit too expensive by about $500, you know. It shouldn't be, in my mind, more expensive than the stage. It does not have some key features. Limited layering, limited splitting, limited, you know, synth module, no organ module at all. You know, to not have all of that and still charge more than the stage just seems a bit of a stretch. If it was at the same price as the stage, I could definitely justify it. Is there any point left to the Nord piano? You see, Nord are not a budget brand. They don't make cheap things, they make premium things. And with the Nord Grand, it's kind of, it's the premium, it's the best kind of piano style instrument that Nord can make. So why would you buy the Nord piano other than it's cheaper? So it'll be interesting to see if Nord continues with the Nord piano or they quietly discontinue it. What would be interesting is if Nord actually incorporate this action, the Kawhi Hammer action, into future stage lineups by putting a fourth premium action, like the Pro Max action, into the Nord stage. That'd be really interesting to see if they do that with the Nord 3EX or maybe even the stage 4. Maybe? I don't know. We'll wait and see. But if you've been thinking about buying a super stage piano, you know, the Kawhi MP11 or an RD from Roland or something like that, 
you now absolutely have to add the Nord Grand to that list. It is expensive, but the performance, the way it plays, the way it sounds, it's classy, it's nice, it's smooth. Anyway, thank you for watching this keyboard talk. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you to the team at Keyboard Corner for providing and loaning this instrument to me so I could make this video possible. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead, subscribe, press the notification bell and like this video. If you've got any questions you want to know um, or questions you want answering about this instrument, leave a comment. Or if there's any keyboard you want me to talk about, please leave a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I update them constantly over at Keyboard Talks and the links are in the description. So until next time, we'll see you in the next Keyboard Talks.